Hey boys, what is up? Welcome back to some more times we made. Well, we're taking on the the Brisbane Broncos, my team. Uh, not going too well in the season, well, in, in this season particularly. Uh, 11th spot, we're in first. Uh, we pretty much got the minor premiership wrapped up. We have, you know, we lost a few games this year. I, I think we've actually lost a couple more games this year than we did last year. I'm not actually sure why. I mean, our team is definitely better than last year, but... Just, um, I don't know, maybe the guy's not gelling, but the Broncos are going to start the game off very well as Hoffman wasn't actually a fullback right there because they just made a line break and Hoffman had to make the tackle. And then Anthony Milford, one-on-one, -on -one, I think he just bumped off Greg Bird, I think it was, and uh, Hoffman was definitely not going to catch Milford from that range. So the Broncos, uh, they've actually caused us a lot of troubles over these two years. They've just, um, I don't, I don't know why. The Broncos, their team... It's not the best in the comp, I'd say, but in terms of stat-wise, but it, it's pretty good. It's it's a pretty decent side, so I think the main thing is they got, like, Milford and McCulloch who make continuous line breaks, but from an error, the, uh, we're going to score with a couple of nice changes of plays right there. Nice change of angle, I should say. Aiden Caesar goes over. It's just a poor error from the Broncos to give us that field position, so all of a sudden, we are back into this game. After a poor start, you know, getting back 6-all is always a good feeling. Not good to to go down early. And we kind of follow that momentum with a beautiful kick by Caesar. He has been... Caesar, he doesn't really get much of the raps in our games. You know, he doesn't really get many man of the matches. But he has been exceptional. But right there, it was ridiculous. I wasn't even trying like a silly offload or a crazy pass. It just passed the stream from the tap. And the boys were just standing in the road. They were just... They were just uh, getting each other's way, and it was a knock-on, so very poor stuff, and the Broncos are going to make us pay with an, just the offload of the century, just, I don't know, team just love doing this to me, look at that offload, Josh Maguire, and then poor effort by Hoffman, he hasn't actually had the best game of late, so Hoffman, usually our best player, is, has been a little disappointing in defense, as Adam Blair just runs over the top of him, and so 20 minutes gone, on the Broncos, and once again, just making more ground, this Bloody Maranta out here, and another offload, and uh, Dane Gagai, he um, he offloaded, and he went for the intercept, so as you'll see here, Bloody Maranta, he's a garbage player in real life, but in the game, he's amazing, but Gagai, he goes for the intercept, doesn't get the ball, and it's going to be Sean Kenny Dow actually playing for the Broncos, he's going to race away and score another try for the Broncos, 25 minutes gone, 18-6 up, uh, everything was just... We weren't playing that badly, uh, badly. it was just the, the Broncos were on fire this game, but we're going to get a good opportunity before half-time as Zillman steps a couple, gets taken there by, I think, Vito with a big tackle. But still good opportunity. Dave Taylor tries to one-off rocket there. Fourth tackle gone. See what we can do. Spread it out to Kane LG. Kane LG gets it out. Long pass should have been intercepted, but comes up with a tackle right there. Last tackle here. We're going for an all-or-nothing play. Gets it out to Dane Kagai. And we get a bit lucky here as we drag ourselves over the line. It was an all or nothing play. He went for the run. Thought I, I thought the gap was there. I thought we were going to try easy. But Darius Boy comes across and makes good contact. But, you know, a bit unfortunate. I don't really like getting those sorts of tries where you drag yourself over. Because, I don't know. I, personally, I don't like the drag animation. But as you see right here, we, um, we went for an attacking play right there. And... Off the kickoff, in fact, and Adam Blair was going to pick up his second try. I couldn't believe it. That was just a terrible play. I mean, it was terrible play. We shouldn't have passed it there. There were too many Broncos just standing well, uh, standing around. But they, they do come up with the missed goals. So it, it keeps us in the game where we are struggling this game. I don't know why the Broncos, they're playing well, but we're also not playing our best. Uh, but the second half, we start off strongly, attacking our right-hand side. David Mead, one-on-one, -on -one, too good. Darius Boyd, left for dead. And that is a pretty classical try for our Titans back line. Right, ed, uh, right side to attack right there. Just uh, pretty typical. Darius Boyd wasn't expecting the early line break and was definitely on his heels. He was back like almost at the goal line for some reason. And it's going to be an easy try. So 22 to 18. Good hit back straight away. You know, getting down. You need to hit back quickly because if you if you're just uh, muck around for a bit, it can... You can get a bit hard to score tries quickly, but we, um, we're we going to get another try here. A couple of really sloppy tries. I mean, generally, I like to score 
good looking tries if that if that makes sense you know i like to do some nice plays i don't like just like throwing it sideline to sideline i like to do a little bit of tries that look decent but right there it was very sloppy i mean it hit the deck <laughs> kane lg like dove on it and he was there for like two seconds pass it out eventually um we get the ball and score the try though but right here the the broncos come up with the intercept but i showed this because the drag <laughs> drag tackle animation actually worked out in our favor there dragging him over the sideline and then right here just another silly offload couldn't believe it the broncos racing away the only person that's going to catch him josh hoffman for some reason hoffman is like wake faster than james roberts in this game but kyle stanley he didn't really have much pace but we just couldn't get to him as james roberts here sets up i think it's yeah zilman here i tried to just get the offload away it was once again a poor offload and it's going to result in another try just every single error we made this game the broncos made us pay and yeah that's that's pretty much the way the game goes you know if you make an error they're going to make you pay and that's pretty much what we do to other teams so getting a bit of payback right here the last tackle we put up the bomb only down by four we're still in this but we do put, come up with it get the offload away and then of course the uh the strip ben hunt is racing away dango i got the speed though he gets bloody stepped. I go on for the tackle. He steps straight past him. And Ben Hunt, Aiden Caesar doesn't have the legs to catch him. And he's going to pick up a try. I was just, by this stage, I was just furious. I was absolutely furious in this game. <laughs> just nothing was going our way. Um, ben Hunt scores a bloody 90 meter try for heaven's sake. And then right here, just a last tackle kick. I wasn't in good position, but it was a brilliant kick. And of course, I tried to take it it was going to be a 40 20 but Hoffman runs straight over the sideline last tackle they put up the bomb they get the bat back and it's going to be good you know that was a nice little try from the Broncos they got a few a few uh lucky tries this game but that one that was a nice try I think it's big Kenny Dow gets the bat back back and McCulloch on the spot there goes over for a try to make it as he gets this kick slots from the sideline six from seven not a bad game with the boot but 40 to 24 so <laughs> By this stage, you know, four minutes ago, we're pretty much out of it. But right here, Zillman stands up Darius Boyd once again, attacking our left side. And the, the Broncos, you know, uh, I feel like they put the cue on the rack at the, at the end of the game. You'll see it. But they, they sort of shut up shop, and we, uh, we might get a few tries here. As we spread it from the kickoff, we get it out to Penny Terrapo. Back on the inside, that's a little set play I love to do. It's usually Glenn to Gagai, but this time Gagai gets it from Terrapo. And he's going to streak away and score another try in, in, in a few seconds. So, all of a sudden, 36 to 40, we are in with a shot. We are in with a shot this game. Only four points down. We need one try to win, and we got the time to do it. So, off the kickoff, we attack straight away. Dan Gago gets it out to da David Mead. David Mead splits him here. Foot race. But, I don't know, I think it's Maranta there. Catches him. Really good chase. And we have to spread it wide. We got a one play left, probably. And then I think it's Marconi just gets in the way. He is just standing in the way of our set line play there. And a very disappointing loss. But they throw the ball back. But we can't get the pass away. Ioni gets tackled with it. So <laughs> it could have been a very good comeback. But overall, it was just a sloppy, very disappointing game. Uh, Dane Gago gets me in the match, surprisingly. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.